Okay, so I had a request for a video about how to download images, how to find sprites. So this is just going to be a quick little video. If you're looking for a sprite, you're going to come to Google and you're going to search for whatever it is you're looking for. I'm just going to search sprite sheet, sprite sheets. And I get a lot of them here, but if you click on images, you'll see a lot more. And then you can go through and find whatever it is you're looking for. Now that was a real general search, so it didn't give me a whole lot, but I do have some suggestions across the top. However, if I'm looking for something specific, I'm going to add my more specific search in the front of it. So now I get sprite sheets that have palm trees on them. So I'm looking for a palm tree. And actually, um, this has a lot of trees in it. And there are some palm trees in here. So I might actually want to use this because in the future I could pull different kinds of trees off of here. So if I wanted to use this, I would right click um, save image as. Now here you need to go to your game maker folder and open your assets and save it in your assets. So I'm just going to call this trees because there are lots of different kinds of trees and it's being saved as a PNG. So I know that's going to work in game maker and I'll save it. That's really all there is to it. If you wanted a single image, um, you might take sprite sheets off and look just for a palm tree. And then I get some single images. If I wanted a single image that I could use, maybe I like this one or I like that one. I think I like this one a little bit better. I could, oh, that one's $6. Make sure that you um, honor the copyright. So we're looking for something that's posted for free that we wouldn't have to pay for. So I might just pull a tree from down here. Um, I might like these and then I could have some different kinds of palm trees. But again, I'm looking for a single image. So, okay, let's just take this one. So I'm going to right click this. I'm going to save image as and I'm going to call it Palm tree. I have a palm tree. Um, I'll put a one on the end so I know it's just a single palm tree. Then in Game Maker, when you go to create a new sprite for our palm tree. If I'm pulling in a single image, I'm going to import and I'll look for that folder that I have my single palm tree in and I'll open that. And then you do, I did, it did come in with this white background. So I would need to go to edit image, choose my magic wand, select. Okay. So I'm holding. I need to hold control select to add more than that. I'm not getting enough of it. So I'm going to increase my tolerance until it pops in. Maybe I'll do a control and get in there. Um, looks like I might be taking out a little too much of my palm tree. So I'll take my tolerance back down. And I am going to lose some of the palm tree. You can see that um, I'm losing shadow, actually. So I might want to, I might want that shadow. But you can, you know, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to control click in here a little until I get what I want. And good enough for now, I'll delete that. And then I can go in with my color remove tool increase my tolerance a little bit, choose the whites and get rid of those. I lost those shadows anyhow. Um, zoom in 
add some more white. Zoom out. Yeah, that looks good to me. So then once you're happy with it, close it. Do make sure you check the size. Remember that our player is 48 by 48. So he's 48 tall and this is 225 tall, which might be too big, but maybe you want some really tall palm trees. Um, you know, maybe not. So you would need to decide. We are going to add a shadow to it. So maybe I'll just do that now. We are going to add a shadow to our palm tree. So I'm going to start with this selection tool here. I'm going to select my, oops, select my entire palm tree. I'm gonna have all of it, so I'm gonna click out. Maybe it's easier to select from the bottom. By the way, I rolled with my middle mouse, with that roller on my mouse while I was selecting. Then I have this, um, crossed arrows so I can just grab that palm tree and move it over to the side so that it's on the side of my image and then just click out you get rid of that selection and then I'm going to do a shadow now I think I'm going to select the top of my tree and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to change to black. Do I like that? Yeah, I like that. I like that shadow. Um, I'm not crazy about it being all black. So I'm going to create a new brush. So I'm going to add a new frame. I'm going to choose that frame. I'm going to put my black shadow here. And now I'm going to choose the gray. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at this. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. It looks funny. Anyhow, I could finish that up and then I could make it a brush by copying Control C. Then I'm going to delete this and then I could come back here to this and paint over that and have my so details in my shadow. I don't know. I don't know if that looks right or not. But anyhow, you can play around with that. And then to test it, you would create an object. Let's see what it looks like in my room. I'll call this obj underscore single tree. Um, or maybe instead of single tree, I'll call it shadowed. Shadowed tree, add my sprite. That was this one. And then go into my room and pull on my background objects, pull that shadow tree over here. Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of big. So I could change the sprite size or I could just double click on this and make it smaller. Make the maybe like 0.5 and the X scale the same because I want it to be proportional and see about that. That's probably a little too small but you know you could also drag it this way. Maybe I like that. Maybe I want it taller. Or not. Yeah, whatever. Anyhow, that's how you download and import a single image 
into GameMaker. Hope that helps. See you in class.